Hello beautiful! Today I'll show you how to do this bright Arabic makeup and I'm very excited about this look because I'm doing it in collaboration with Gladilis Art who is a wonderful makeup artist, artist and singer and who has always been my inspiration. Make sure to check out her channel and subscribe because I'm confident you will fall in love with her and everything she does. And now let's go on to our look and begin with priming our lids. Once this is done, move on to your eyeshadows. Today I decided to work primarily with Inglot eyeshadows because I love how pigmented they are. The first color I'm going to use is yellow and I will apply it to the inner corner of my eye. Next is the orange eyeshadow color. Apply it next to the yellow one and blend the colors a bit together to get a smooth transition. Before I go on to the eyeshadow color that I will apply next to the orange one, I need to decide what kind of makeup shape I want to have. Therefore, I am grabbing a black eyeshadow and with the help of an angled brush, creating the contour on the outer corner of my eye. Now when you're done, start filling in the empty space on your moving lid. Apply the dark purple color next to the contour that you have just created. And then add a lighter version of purple color next to it. Don't forget to blend the harsh lines if you have any. We want the transition from one color to another to be as smooth as possible. At this point of time you might also want to apply some highlighter to your highlight area because it will also help you smoothen out the edges of your look. Let's go on to the most exciting part of this makeup, which is the eyeliner routine. Grab your gel eyeliner and start off with a simple liner line on your upper lash line. Then slightly prolong your inner corner and fill it in. Move on to the lower lash line. It is really hard to describe the shape of the design, so just follow my motions. Now fill in your waterline and apply absolutely the same eyeshadow colors on top and underneath your eyeliner design on the lower lash line. I personally feel that this look lacks some white color, therefore I will apply some white eyeliner to the empty space in between of the upper and lower outer corner parts of my makeup. Do my words make sense? This look for sure requires some false eyelashes, so apply a strip of your favorite ones to the upper lash line. Since we have so much going on on our eyes, I prefer to use less on my cheeks and lips. Therefore, I will apply a pinkish bronzer to my cheeks and pink lipstick to my lips. And here's the final look. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Stay always happy, healthy and beautiful and see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't and don't forget to check out my other videos. Thanks and bye!